Hi everybody, good morning. Uh, Tryhack me release in last, uh, what do you call it, last, uh, last CTF, not the previous one, the, the, the Hactify Battle Dark Meta Practice, how to explode a weak RSA implementation to recover the private key and decrypt the ransomware encrypted file. Um, they tell us this one is easy room. Uh, they tell us uh, the Hackfinity High School has been hit by Dark Inject uh, ransomware and some of its critical files have been encrypted. We need you and Void to use your crypto skills to find the RSA private key and store the files. After some research and reverse engineering, you discover they have forgotten uh, uh, to remove some debugging from their code. The ransomware saved this data to temporary directory. I don't think gave us this. If you go to the room, the first thing when you go to the room, you see this. You have been pawned by Dark Matter Gang. Your file have been encrypted. You have this time enter decryption key. This is a little bit the tricky part, the confusing part. The encryption key, pass your file BTC to this. Failure to comply with result in permanent data loss. Uh, of course, now if I go to the directory, you can see this. Too. This is your data. This is the the two encrypted files that we have. Now also they tell us that uh, temporary folder, so we have, uh, where are you? Uh, so if I go now to, because they said we have files in temporary folder, see the temp, we have two files, we have cut public, so you now we have the N and the E, if you're familiar with RSA, we come back to them, then we have that uh, Bind and let's do x x dump minus c uh, minus c what I'm doing minus c encrypted the uh, uh, so we have the the key uh, the encrypted key i c eight a c whatever so the hex the hex value for it this is an encryption nice key now the question is uh, not you why you have too many then, uh, uh, first of all, because remember the room said uh, get after your, your version, you discover have forgotten that, but also the to, to uh, the, the big issue here is uh, uninstall the file after uh -huh, we need to avoid Okay, the, the flaw here is basically in this one. The N. The N is too small. Reason why, because there is another room in Trihackme, if you did, uh, if you check it before, this room called Breaking RSA, uh, hoping break poorly implemented RSA using ferment factorization algorithm. Now this room explained and that's the end that we have here. Let's see, zoom a little bit in this. Okay, everybody can see. This room you can try it. So n equal pq. This is our f our end that we found there. So we have that n. So b n should be large. That's the whole point of uh, RSA. Known as the modulus of public private key pair, it is product of two large random primate number p and q. Of course, now uh, the D, a large positive integer that make up the private key, to remember the private key, it is calculated as D equal mod inverse E over the whole this math. If you don't get confused, you can do script online to do it. But the key part is this N here. Our, uh, the room S is a small. You can take this one to online website, or you can do Python script. Uh, you can go, for example, this one, for example, this one, uh, Wolfram Alpha, you can just put your key there, and any quick it will give you the P and uh, the Q. You can see it, uh, where is it? It already gave you the number, uh, no, not these ones, where, where they are these P and Q? Oh, that's, they are the keys. Prime factorization, he found them, so even they are, look large, but 
it to be found easily here so we can get uh, the p and q because p is a small you can other website for example let's say calculator you can put your p and q and it can, of course you get uh, the n and most important you give it uh, because the e the e we have it where is the e we have the e 65537 so you put that there you can get the d we can calculate the d so we have the d value um, what i'm doing now i oh, will go back to that room uh, so we have a python script this one you can do the factorizing so if, if you don't want to go online do it online you can write your script this python is too fast they call it the uh, fermat factorization algorithm this you give it n and it will give you the value for um, uh, p and q uh, so this is this room uh, for example, in recent times it found that an organization named Jackfruit is using dependent deprecated cryptography library to generate the RSA key. The li this library is known to implement RSA poorly. Two random selected prime numbers are very close to one another. So either you're close or too small. That's what uh, things making it possible for an attacker to generate the private key from the public key using ferment factorization method. So basically you can see it somehow the same, the same room. Um, ten, ten, ten. So now you can say what exactly. So we got everything. So we or we can go. We can go to crypt. Uh, so we can use the same uh, factorization algorithm. So we have the n. We have the e. Uh, we have uh, uh, the hex for the key because we have a dump for the key. So we have. Uh, remember, we got it from the temporary folder. We do the factor n and q and then uh, we calculate all the math for that if you can do it we want to do it with python if you run the script this is the script run it in my computer it tell you uh, we can find the p, we, uh, p and you find the q you can lambda and then you find the private exponent d and then decrypted is key and then here's what things when you, if you use this or this uh, in our room in these things it just doesn't work so if I for example if I take this key here for whatever reason because it said enter decryption key so it's supposed to be if I decrypt the key no it said invalid wherever wherever so it's so it's not taking that key for some reason I don't know why so and then if you look for and if you look because this is a, the D the D is as we said a large positive integer that make up the private key uh, where uh, the D is basically part of the private key itself D is the private key uh, D is the private key and is calculated by P and Q So we can click a D and break the SA. Where factorization like number is a problem. So, so basically we have a D here. D is the private key is calculated by P and Q. We have a D, so we can try the D. So if we take the D, where is the D? This is the D. So if I take the D now and go to my room, if I put the D now. It's a file decryption successful, and then, and if you go to the desktop, you will have two files now being decrypted. The score report, and I think the flag is in the other one. I didn't get a report. No, the flag is not this one. School attendance report. Where is the damn flag? Huh. I thought it's in a... 
Oh, that's the flag. It's hiding somewhere here. Oh, that's the flag. Flag is inside this. Uh, yeah, it's student grades. Yeah, student grade report. These two flags. One here. D zero. So one here and one here. So okay, you can have your flags. Yeah. So uh, my my little bit uh, problematic issue because. Uh, it's using the D when I try to do some encryption and decryption manually for the for these files. Remember the original file are uh, are base 64, so you convert them from base 64 because if you open uh, uh, and you try to do manual decryption, I can't find a way to solve this. I try a couple of things I get uh, to to try to. Uh, do. The only explanation is because we don't know the IV because I tried different IVs here. Uh, we even try zero IV. Uh, the zero IV to to do it manually doesn't work. So basically, the best thing I can say is uh, it has an IV somewhere. That's why we can't do it manually, and I think you just follow this from these straight using D as a private key. But D is not really the private key, in my best of knowledge. So, yeah, everybody, if you have some clarification, my point is because if we find the D, we can get the encryption key, but we're missing the IV, so we don't have IV to do the decryption manually with OpenSSF, for example, because we can get so I'm using this key. So decrypting is key, but it seems this one is not working. So basically, it's a D for this room. It's a D. That's that's what uh, is targeting there. So let's assume it's a D for the moment. And yeah, um, what we can say. Thank you, everybody. Uh, everybody, and hope it help. My advice is try to do this room. It's a good room for RSA if you want to to practice more in RSA. Thank you very much and have a good day.